Hey, Shalom, 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 Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekhah Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I want to go ahead and get into a lesson. All right, um, this is like a, you know, I just did a lesson and, you know, on to another one. You know, the spirit's hot right now and, you know, I went to, you know, just go through another scripture and I just happened to come through by uh, the book of Ephesians. Um, I read, you know, the sixth chapter. All right, that was the, the, the page that it sent me to. Um, I read the sixth uh, chapter and, you know, we're going to do I build up a lesson from then. All right, and uh, Lord Wilderness lessons edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. All right, because these uh, scriptures are uh, things that we need to help build up the uh, the elect. All right, especially for the times to uh, to come. All right, we're about to get into some serious times to where we need to uh, 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 have ourselves uh, have ourselves uh, armed. <clears throat> okay, we need to be armed. All right, uh, with everything. Uh, 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 basically. Having everything uh, done all for us to stand, all right, in that great day, all right, because this this great day that's coming is going to be like a time lo like no other, all right. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, this is the book of Ephesians. We can start at uh, chapter six, verse eleven. It says, <clears throat> "Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." Okay, so. And you know you're going to the devil, all right? It's the adversary, and it's also, uh, uh, you know, likened unto who? Esau, Edom, all right? This man is the devil, okay? Um, let's go into that word wiles, <clears throat> okay? Smalls G, 3180, Methodia, Methodia. All right, so from the Greek word, Methodia. So it says, cunning arts. Deceit, craft, trickery. All right, it says compare method, um, <clears throat> traveling over travesty, trickery, a while, lie in wait. Okay, and this is who? <coughs> it's a lot. This is Esau, uh, Edom, the devil. All right, this is who is coming. All right, uh, 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 especially he's coming after the workings of, uh, of Satan, all right, as you read in the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter 2. Okay, so this here is, is explaining, all right, for us to put on the whole armor of the Most High so that we can be able to stand against these, these cunning arts, all right, this, trick, this trickery, all right, this, this stuff that's uh, uh, here to uh, deceive you. All right, so uh, this is what? The, 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 the crafty uh, things of the devil, all right? This is how he makes traps and, and, and uh, uh, catch people, all right? So this is who the Lord is saying, all right? Oh, Salah, what he is saying unto you, all right, for you to put on the whole armor of the Most High, all right? Because Satan is getting ready to come with all different type of things, all right, to try to come and, and, and deceive everyone, but it's not going to be the elect, all right? So he's coming with these cunning arts, all right, and these... Uh, 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 trickery, all right, these things that are in place, all right, verse uh, 12, it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, all right, so we going against uh, 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 these, these uh, elites, these rulers that are of the world, all right, this is who the Lord has uh, us against. All right, it's good set against evil. Okay, we are, 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 are we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We are against these principalities, against these powers, against rulers of the darkness of of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, so you got to have on the whole armor of the Most High. 
all right? Because you going up against some high level shit according to this world. This is why these are the people who are in power. They control all of this uh, 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 infrastructure, this whole system. They control the money. They control how uh, 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 things work within the system. They have every. They have. They have things spread it out. They have, bro. These are the people who are above this whole world. They are controlling all of this because they're working next to Satan. All right, you're getting divine intervention from uh, uh, different things of the spiritual world. They tap it into portals. They're t <clears throat> it's a lot. They're tapping into portals or trying to get into portals. They're, they're talking to, uh, 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 well, making seats for Satan. These people uh, worship Satan. All right, these are the people who put out that different witchcraft and all. This is how the whole earth is deceived. By the trickery, the, the the different things that how they have it of power, all right, principalities. They, they these are the people who practice spiritual things on the high places. They have their own priests that do left hand uh, 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 magic, all right. These these are people, all right, who control, all right, the earth. These elites. So the Lord is saying, you gotta put on the whole armor, all right, against these people. These are the devil. Okay, verse uh, 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Okay, now that's, that's heavy. Okay, because the scripture says uh, for you to take on the whole armor of the Most High. All right, he getting ready, getting ready to go through a different list of, of what the Lord is saying for you to take up for the armor uh, for you to have in this, in this time that we're about to enter into. All right, because the Lord is saying, if you don't have the whole armor of the Most High, you're not going to withstand in this evil day. All right, you're not. This is why this is important for you to get this truth while you can. All right, to put on the whole armor. All right, we're getting ready to get into the whole armor. All right, but it says so that you're going to be able to withstand. All right. Many people are not going to make it. This is what the Lord is saying. This is going to be like a day like no other. This is going to be an evil, evil, bad time. It's going to be like a time like no other. So all those people who's playing around and not really being serious, all right, the Lord is going to have you out there, all right, and you're not going to be able to stand. This is why we're going to see a lot of people just fold. You're going to see a lot of people fold because the, the spirit ain't going to be on them to, to keep going. They already failing right now, so you can already see what time is gonna be when this time comes because they didn't take on the whole armor of the Most High. Okay, um, back at uh, 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to withstand in an evil day and having done all to stand. Verse 14, <coughs> it says, Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Okay, so when you look at what uh, having your loins girt about with truth, when you go around your, your the, 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 uh, how, the loins part, all right, you know, when you pull up your pants up, you know, the midway section of your, uh, your stomach, this is going also into your core. This is the, the strongest part of your body. All right, having your loins girt about with this truth, that's supposed to be the thing that's keep that keep that, that helps keeping you up. All right, this truth. All right, that's gonna be what? That's the strongest part of the body when you look at it. It's gonna go into these different uh, 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 strong parts of the body. Okay, it says verse. Oh, it says and having on the breastplate of righteousness. All right, and we know that our righteousness as as uh, is as filthy rags into uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but according to this world, all right, and how everyone else, and how everyone else is living, all right, this is us putting on the breastplate of righteousness, walking in righteousness, walking with our chest 
uh, 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 open, the men, all right? Because when you look at a breastplate, you put, you try to put it on your chest, all right? It, 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 fix, it fixes the, uh, the posture, all right, to stand straight up. All right, so the breastplate, you can't be walking with your chest all caved in, head down. No, the, the breastplate is there to keep you uh, uh, standing straight and firm. All right, so this is what? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. All right, that righteousness is going to have you uh, to have you to have the confidence to have your chest poked out. All right, because you're speaking uh, the, the Heavenly Father's word. All right, so you, you got the two strongest cores right there around your groin area or your loin area where you were like by your belt, which is connected to your core. All right, and you have what? The breastplate, that chest, all right, that pushes off what? Strength, all right? Um, it says, verse 15, it says, and your feet shod with the preparedness of the gospel of peace. Okay, so it says, <clears throat> and your feet shod with the preparedness of the gospel of peace. All right. Does not the scripture say in Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability of thy times. And when you got your foot placed on something, you got it placed on within what? A rock. All right. So that you you you, you can't move. All right. Your, your foot is on a foundation. It's, it's, it's something solid. All right. This is why you're going to have stability. Okay, it says, um, verse 15, and your feet shall with the preparedness of the gospel of peace. All right, so wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of the times. Let me just get that right quick. <clears throat> Salam. Khan. This is the book of Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. All right. This is going to be the strength that's going to keep you. That's going to keep your uh, feet at peace. All right. It's going to keep you going. That's going to be your strength. All right. For salvation. This wisdom and this knowledge. Okay, it says the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So you don't fear your how about shim shy. Okay, so going back at uh Ephesians 6 and uh 15, and your feet shod with the preparedness of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith. Okay. Uh it's another scripture. I forgot where it says going into the uh with the faith. In the shield, but uh, I can't think of it right now. But um, it's a lot, yeah. But um, lost the point. But going back into Ephesians 6 and 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, <coughs> wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Okay, let me go into the in that precept. I forgot to bring that out in verse 16. That's that was the point. Okay, so this is the book of uh, Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. All right, Con, that was, that was the point that I was trying to get at. Uh, it was something else about the sword, but going back into the point. All right, this is the Lord going into uh, the, two, the two foundations. All right, and what your feet should be planted on, we just read in the book of Ephesians 6. Okay, it says... Because the Lord said he will liken you unto a wise man which built your house upon the rock. All right. And I mentioned the rock earlier. It says, and the, and the rain descended and floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. All right. Did not the scripture says how Esau Edom is getting ready to come in like a flood. All right. You're getting ready to come up against these people uh, who are in a uh, uh, high rulership. They're sending these uh, 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 the military after you, all right? This is when that flood is getting ready to come. You have to be ready to withstand in that time when Esau Edom comes in. This is why we're going through the, the whole armor of the Most High, all right? And this is a part of it, having your feet planted upon a, a solid foundation. And that's what this truth, all right? Yahweh Shimei Shai, all right? His name. All right, 
So it reads on, uh, verse 26, well, verse uh, 25. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. Okay, so that's what's getting ready to come to you, your house. All right, you. It says, and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. So, hey, when these things come, all right, this is how you need to be. All right, going into what? That armor of the whole armor of the Most High, having your feet planted upon this rock. All right, this is why when Esau Edom comes in, it ain't gonna matter. All right, it says, it fell not. It was a strong house, the strength. All right, verse 25, it says that, uh, verse 26, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. All right, and I mentioned how people playing around is not getting themselves like really ready for what the Lord is about to do. Okay, the Lord is about to uh, 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 bring havoc unto those who did not really believe and, and, and took the time out to seek out Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So these are going to be the people, all right, liking them unto a foolish man, all right, and they built the house upon the sand, all right. So you know when you're on the beach, all right, and then the water just comes up uh, upon the shore and it takes some of the sand back out into the sea, all right. And you see how the sand was being able to move? All right, this is what's getting ready to happen to these people, all right, who do not take it serious, who did not get themselves uh, ready to put on the whole armor of the Most High. Uh, verse 27, uh, verse 26 again, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. All right. In Jacob's trouble, we're getting ready to see many people fall. It's going to be a great number of people that fall. Okay. It says, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and winds blew. That's Esau Edom coming in like a flood, all right, getting ready to come upon the two-thirds. He's about to mow these people to fuck down with his guns, his artillery, all right? Different, man, Esau got all type of stuff that's out there, and this is what these elites and these people of power are going to send after you because they have the control to do it. This is what's coming towards Israel. Okay, it says, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. That's going to be the people. Oh, man. That's you through. When Esau even come in, and he come in with all this different type of uh, artillery, and you you see him on the different uh, uh, like uh, videos. I did a video on it. Uh, if you did, you can check it out, but I did a video on it, and I got videos of how Esau is bringing and transporting. Uh, 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 um, um, uh, I don't know how to pronounce. It. I believe it's like Humvees. All right, the things, them, them vehicles that's uh, for the army. All right, you got the uh, for the military, Salakia. All right, you got. Um, Different, uh, I think it was uh, a, a lot of uh, generators that was coming in. You had a whole bunch of tanks coming in. So Esau's getting ready to come. This is why the scriptures is about to be fulfilled. These things is coming where they are about to come beat upon the house. All right, especially those he's about to beat on the house of Israel and the two thirds of Israel. A lot of them is going to go, they're going to have to go through that. All right, this is why I said, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Jacob's trouble, man, we finna see a lot of you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American, Indians, we about to see y'all get slaughtered. This is why you gotta have the whole armor of the Most High. You about to have your mind ready. The Lord is about to have it to where we about to see Little children die. We about to see little children getting stumped on, man, probably thrown, getting shot at the head, blown off, getting ran over by tanks. We getting ready to see women raped, man. We finna see 
all type of hell. You got to have a whole armor of the most high for this time that's about to happen. It's right around the corner. People not really looking at what's really going on. And this is the Lord speaking, saying that this shit about to fucking go down. This is why you got to have the whole armor of the most high, man. All right. Or great was the fall of you. Um, what was this? Uh, it's the book of Psalm 62 verse two. It says, yeah, I think he was done with that Ephesians, right? Um, oh, come verse 17. It's a lot. It says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. <coughs> it says, which is the word of the most high. So you got to have this word with you. All right. Within you. Okay. You got to have the uh, faith, which is the shield. All right. You got to have your feet. All right, ready, okay? Have it in preparation, all right, for these things that's getting ready to come. And uh, it was another. Oh, and, the, uh, and your loins, all right, with this truth. You got to have all these different things covering your whole body for the time that we about to enter into. But if you built your house upon that rock, all right, you have nothing to worry about, all right? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said that he's going to have us. All right, he's going to keep us from that uh that hour of temptation. Okay? <clears throat> this is the book of Psalm 62 verse 2. It says, "He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved." Okay? So the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai is our rock. He is our salvation. By those names, this is how we're going to be able to get out. All right, by believing on the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and what they said. Okay, it says uh, He is my defense. All right, you going what uh, Proverbs eighteen and ten? Let's just get it right quick. Uh, it's the book <clears throat> of Proverbs eighteen and ten. All right, I read uh, slow. Proverbs 18 and 10. It's the book of Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, The name of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right? So you're going to be safe by running into the tower. All right? But you're going to have the what? The uh, the, the breastplate. All right? Uh, well, it's like you're going to have the whole armor of the, uh, of the Most High. All right, you're gonna be uh, uh, safe. The Lord's gonna have the hedge of protection around you. All right, because you know the names. All right, and you know the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, and you protected yourself in that armor. So while everybody else getting slaughtered, the Lord is gonna have you protected. This is why it says the righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right, it says He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Verse 6, it says, He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In the Most High is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in the Most High. It says, The rock of my strength and my refuge is in the Most High. It says, trust in him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. The most high is a refuge for us, said La. And if you heard that through the spirit, that is talking to you. If you heard that through the spirit, that is talking to you. I'm going to read it one more time. We can close out. Just the book of. Psalm 62, verse 8. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. The Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is a refuge for us. Selah. All right, we're going to go ahead and you know, close out with that. All right. <laughs> I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, 
by Hashem, Rekak Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders in Great Millstone, who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and hopefully elect. Scattered abroad. Shalom.